In a few simple steps, we'll show you how to wirelessly transfer your contacts, photos, videos, and calendar events from your iPhone to your new Android phone using the Switch to Android app. To transfer additional types of data like messages, apps, and more, watch our other video to learn how to transfer data using a cable. Before setting up your device and transferring your data, here are some important things to know. We recommend that both your iPhone and new Android phone are fully charged or connected to power. Make sure both phones can connect to Wi-Fi during the setup process. And don't worry, your data is secure during and after the transfer process with Android's powerful and always-on protection. Let's get started. Turn on your new Android phone and press Start. To activate your data network, insert your SIM card or download your eSIM from your carrier by following the on-screen instructions. Then connect to a Wi-Fi network. Choose to copy apps and data and continue with the setup process until you are asked to find your cable. Instead of using a cable, tap the option No Cable. Tap Switching from iPhone or iPad. If asked, allow access to location and nearby devices. On your Android phone, sign into your Google account or create one if you don't have one already. If you don't sign into your Google account while setting up, you won't be able to transfer calendar events. Connect both devices. You will be prompted with a QR code on your Android phone. Use your iPhone's camera to scan the QR code and download the Switch to Android app from the App Store. Once downloaded, open the app, agree to the terms of service, and press Copy Data. With the Switch to Android app open on your iPhone, scan the QR code and allow both phones to connect by tapping Join. Allow the app to access your data to prepare for data transfer. Select your data. Choose what you want to copy to your new Android phone. Transfer. To begin the transfer, tap Continue. We recommend that you keep both phones close together while your data is transferring. Depending on how much data your phone has, this transfer could take over an hour or a few minutes. Once your data has finished copying over, turn off iMessage on your iPhone so you don't miss out on messages. To do this, follow the on-screen instructions and turn off iMessage. You may have photos and videos in iCloud. Since iCloud data does not copy over, you will need to request your data from your iCloud account. The Switch to Android app will guide you through steps on how to get this data so that it's available on your new Android device. Now you know how to transfer your data to your new Android phone. To learn more about switching from iPhone to Android, visit android.com switch to Android.